Center for the Big Freeze. As News 13's Thomas Schultz tells us they're adding tarps, blankets, and other items to keep the bobcats, panthers, and other big cats warm. Bear Creek Feline Center volunteers are bracing for the coldest temperatures the Panhandle has seen in many years. There's going to be probably some wind associated with the passes, passage of the, the front. Officials are covering areas for cats like this one to prepare for the cold weather. On Thursday morning, they began covering sides of habitats with plastic tarp. Bricks will then be placed on top of the wrapping. Volunteers say most of the 19 cats are unaccustomed to freezing temperatures. We're going to experience some weather that we might not have ever seen. Uh, and some of these cats either. Volunteers saying the wild panthers and servals would build a shelter to hide from the cold. But in a sanctuary, the older animals rely on plastic coverings, blankets, and night houses. Even though they're used to the cold because they're out in the wild, they don't have the opportunity to go find a place and build a den. So here we have to do it for them. Directors say the cat's body temperature fluctuates around 100 degrees. Broadus says the animals act as their own heaters when they nestle into their night houses. Mm -hmm. He says it's important to make sure each cat has enough hay for bedding in the cold. What we're trying to do is keep, keep the wind off of them, keep them in a dry spot, a safe spot. In Bay County, Thomas Schultz, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The volunteers met with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission officers Tuesday to help them better prepare for the incoming severe weather.